All right, y'all, so Black Ops 6 is upon us. This is the Open Your Eyes teaser trailer. We're going to check out the other trailer, and we're going to check out a video I saw while in the suggestions that looked crazy. So stay tuned. Let's see. Let's see what it's talking about. All right. 2000s vibe. Median home prices have fallen to 120000 90s. Recruitment for the CIA has reached an all-time high. New episode tonight at 9. I don't remember that show. I'll see you for that. Ladies and gentlemen. 90s vibe. You. We are talking to you. To you. You. You may remember. Remember. A better time. Yep, this is definitely 2000s. 90s, 2000s kind of vibe. But it was false. The truth lies. You were blind to the lies. Blind to the lies. You must find the truth. Stop being sheep and become wolves. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Soon the truth will be revealed. Blessed are the peacemakers. Mm. Anthrax, I'll throw that in there. Got the music in there. All right, yeah. So clearly, this is gonna be like in the nine set in the set in like the um. I seen nineteen ninety one, so early early nineties to mid two thousands, because you have like um you got George Bush. Um, I think W. I think that was W. Or was it H W? I don't really know. I don't really I don't really follow politics like that. Um, when W won, that's when I knew politics. That's when I knew. There's a lot of bullshit going on, and this is gonna be controversial. But voting is—it's not really our choice. It's the like it's—it's it's the people that are it's the lobbyists and the you know the electoral college. Really, the popular vote doesn't really mean anything. But anyway, um, yeah, open your eyes, trailer. So they, they, there's some secrets going on. There's some secrets going on. So let's check out the next trailer. So. You had you had Bill Clinton in there. You had George Bush in there. So let's let's look at the next trailer. See what that. See if that we could glean anything from that. I don't know if this is Family. copyright, so we're gonna mute that. You're not catching me lacking, cause that copyright that shit kills your video, bro. Even if they let it rock, if it's a copyright on your video, that shit kills your views. I should wake them up. So they went up on the they went up on the um Mount Rushmore. Covered the president's faces, the founding fathers. You gotta have some balls or some conviction to do this at night, to do some shit like that at night. Truth lies. That's a that's an image right there. The truth lies. If you know the history of this country, history what the what do they what do they say? History is written by the victor, right? So, you know what I'm saying? That got that got some weight to it. That got some weight to it. Whether you want to say it's lies or whether you want to say um whether you want to say it's like in not the full truth being told <laughs> for, for lack of a better um, um verbiage like it's you know what i'm saying that got some weight to it but they said 150 base game and 400 gigabyte download probably because yo the call of duty is 200 right now on my hard drive is like 220 gigabytes on my on my fucking my fucking hard drive bro ridiculous and here's the video i saw the clip from asma goes rumor that there'll be a playable uh 9-11 i i don't think they should do that i think they should just leave that alone it'll always be too soon for that oh so 9-11 might be a playable map or a playable campaign in the new call of duty 
Dude, I don't get what's this funny is about that. Upset some people. I'm gonna say it. I think they should do it, bro. That would bring Call of Duty back so fucking hard, dude. Who wouldn't play it in the airport shooting the terrorists from 9/11? Oh my! Like, can you imagine yeah. like the music, Bruce Springsteen, born in the USA, playing in the background? Oh my god! Everybody would fucking play it. Uh, you prevent the planes and the towers come down anyway. Nah, they yeah, they would have to do like yeah. Let me let me let it play. Imagine that's the start of the game. That's the campaign. What the fuck? That would be so good. Oh my god. Historical a story you fiction. can't cover. Maybe that can be an Assassin's Creed game American in the next cover. 20 years. Make that into the next Assassin's Creed and I'll forgive every $130 game you make. Nah. No microtransaction. No. Nah, they'd have to, yeah. They'd have to do it to where they change the narrative. But like you... You're oh. trying. You're trying to fight to stop it, but you're too late, and it happens anyway. Or they could just flip the whole narrative where you save the towers, you know, and something, but something else goes down. Like you save the towers, you save the Pentagon, you save the you save the the smaller buildings that got knocked down and stuff. The um, and we're, our world trade, and but something other, something else gets hit, and it's drastic or something like that. They'd have they'd have to go that route with it, but I don't know, man. We'll see. This is all speculation. We didn't get a release date. We didn't get any any idea about gameplay or anything like that. We're just getting basically little little propaganda teaser messages and stuff like that. So we'll see. Uh, we shall see. Um, I think it's a smart marketing tactic because it gets people it gets people talking about it. Obviously, I'm making a whole whole seven minute video about it. Um, but I would like to see some gameplay because that's what's going to come down to the gameplay. Black Ops has been known to been other than Modern Warfare, one of the most solid series in uh, the Call of Duty uh, among the Call of Duty franchises. Um, some people will say three was ass, but some people, a lot of people liked it. Some people say three, four, and five was ass, but a lot of people liked it. One and two goaded to me. Black Ops One, this game right here, Black Ops One. Like, that's the Call of Duty game I played the most. I prestige and everything. Played the story over and over. I used to play with my friends. It was lit. So, I don't know. I, I think I think, I think think this game is going to be very controversial as Modern Warfare 4 was with the no Russian mission. You know, and, and it's going to have some shocking moments. I hope they bring it back to that to where it was like a part of culture. Like, the all gillied up mission, like, that was a part of culture. Like, pop culture. The, the, the um... The betrayal at the end, you know, um, the, you know, Roach and, G and Ghost and all of them and, and Soap, you know, and Soap McTavish, all these iconic characters, they need to bring that that kind of vibe back to Call of Duty and then more people will play it. And stop making the game so damn big. Compress that shit, bro. Compress it, bro. For like 200, 300, 400, 500 gigabytes is ridiculous. Like, ridiculous, man. But that's, that's all I got to say for now. We'll see. We'll keep an eye on this game. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, all right? So y'all already know the vibes. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It's your boy Just Falls with me out. One.